Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, thanks for tuning in. The question I get asked the most on my channel is, how do you get your photographs off of the Sony memory stick onto your computer? And I'm talking about the older Sony memory sticks, like this one here, the older purple ones that came out around 1998. Yes, it's hard to believe it's that long ago, so they're over 25 years old now. Uh, I suspect a lot of people obviously uh, have got family members that have passed away and they're finding their cameras and they want to access those memories from all those years ago. Now I'm going to get straight to the point. The easiest way to get those pictures off of those cameras, or off those memory sticks, is to use the original camera that you had uh, back in the day. If you still have the camera, it's actually a card reader. Um, you just plug it into your computer by USB, and after a few moments, Windows 10 will install the drivers for you, and it will work. Uh, I've actually tested out these three cameras here. Uh, which one's this? This is a Sony DSC F707. Uh, that's quite an early camera that came out around about the year 2000, 2001. And then you've got these little uh, U range here. This is a U30. That also takes a full size memory card. And then you've got the DSC U40 here, which takes these Duo, which is the smaller card that came out after the early purple ones. So all you have to do is plug that in via USB. There's a USB socket on the side there. Every single camera has a USB socket. Uh, before this, they were a little bit odd. They were a bit different, but then this became the standard. I'll put the model of that up on the screen because I forgot off the top of my head of that USB cable if you haven't got one. And you just plug that into the computer and that's it. It will come up as a hard drive and, uh, under my computer. And then once you've done that, you just click on it and open it up and you'll be able to access all the folders that are in there. Just drag and drop them onto your desktop, wherever you like. Uh, so that's uh, the best way of doing it basically, I thought I'd mention that first because I know a lot of people don't want to wait to the end of the video to find that out. Okay, so the other option is, uh, back in the day or over the last 20 odd years, uh, Sony did make card readers, uh, ironically, even though the camera was a card reader itself. But I guess if you didn't want to lug the uh, camera around and have batteries running down, because obviously the early cameras ate batteries quite uh, quickly, especially the uh, DSC U30 range then, U40. Uh, so they made all these card readers over the years in all these different uh, guises and shapes and sizes and formats. So I'll take you through all these card readers now, we'll have a look at them and I'll tell you all their model numbers. Um, because you don't need to buy any of them apart from this one on the end here. Uh, because none of these will work as a card reader with Windows 10, unfortunately. Uh, I've tried various different drivers that have come with different cameras over the years. I've tried doing Google searches, I've not found anything unfortunately that works. So forget about buying any of these card readers I'm about to show you. It's only this one here on the end, which I'll tell you at the end the model number, which actually works on Windows 10. So let's have a look at them. This is the earliest one that I have, and this is actually a PCMCIA card reader. And this PCMCIA adapter will go in there, and that would have a compact flash slot, which is what the early cameras used uh, back in the late 90s and early 2000s. This one plugs in via parallel, so data transfer would have been quite slow. But not forgetting, I've seen file sizes back then were a lot smaller than they are now. You probably look at it three or four hundred kilobytes per picture. Uh, this actually requires a 12 volt power supply, which I don't have. So I've never been able to test this, and I don't have the software disk for it either. This is a MSAC PR1. Next up, we have this one here. This is a MSAC SR1 card reader. This works with the purple stick. And this one uses a serial connection, which again is slow, but again, like I mentioned before, early cameras, the picture file size was quite small. And this also has to have a DC in 6 volt power supply, because there was no power uh, available through the serial connection. Uh, then next up, we have this one here. This one's quite easy to find actually on eBay, if you're nostalgic and want to take a trip back down memory lane. Uh, it's an MSAC US1, connects via USB, it's USB 1 speed. Um, again, it takes a full size memory card. Uh, come, obviously, you'll need a CD ROM for this. This works primarily with Windows 98, 95, um, probably XP as well, Windows Millennium and XP. And then we have the Sony Memory Stick Mouse. I actually bought one of these brand new when it first came out, around about 2001, I think it was. I paid 69.99 for that, which is quite a lot of money. It's a very good mouse, quite accurate. Again, memory stick goes straight in the back there. Uh, it works as a mouse, fine, but it won't work as a card reader on Windows 10. And that's a MSAC US5.
Let's have a look at this one there. This is a very interesting uh, device, this one. So not only is it a floppy disk reader, which actually works for Windows 10, amazingly. Again, it's got a card slot on the front. Brilliant, eh? Dual purpose. And that is a MSFD20U. I had the uh, CD-ROM for this with the drive ROM, but it didn't work. Uh, it's even got a uh, date there, 2002 look, when it was made. Very handy device they are. They don't pop up on eBay very often. Uh, this one here, um, that's an MSAC US20, unusual little device. Um, that one just sits on your desk, got a very short cable, but you can put a long one on it if you need to. And then this one here is another memory stick mouse. This works with the uh, memory stick pro. So that'll work with the larger capacities because the earlier one, I think if I remember rightly, only works up to 128 megabytes. Uh, now I think about it, I think it's uh, 128 megabyte maximum for all the previous ones. It has to say pro on it to go to the larger sizes. Very good mouse again, but sadly it doesn't work for Windows 10. And then you have this. This is a very interesting device. It's a floppy disk adapter. Has two uh, button cells, CR2016s, and you can put your memory card in it and then pop it straight in your floppy disk drive. Uh, it's very good when it works. I don't know if uh, mine's just a bit temperamental, uh, but I can't always get it to work. Sometimes it'll say the disk isn't formatted. And that's your read area there for the heads to go across. Uh, marvellous invention that. But that obviously needs six volts for the two button cells for that to work. And if you have a Sony Mavica, um, the early Mavica cameras that use a floppy disk, there was some models after a certain date would also accept this so you could put your uh, memory card in it use a memory card so a floppy disk which will get you more pictures which is brilliant model number msac fd2m and then last but not least this one here it's a multi-card reader uh, the model number is mrw 62e uh, smart media xd compact flash micro drive multimedia card sd card and memory stick pro and also the older memory stick uh, I plugged that into the Windows uh, 10 and it worked straight away, I couldn't believe it. Out of all of these, it's the only one that works. So that's the one you want to be looking for, basically, if you're thinking of getting a card reader. It's the only one that I found to currently work. Um, hopefully uh, they won't uh, discontinue support for it. It's a nice little device, actually, and of course it does pretty much all of them. So I also tested all of these with a Mac OS. I've forgotten the um, operating system off the top of my head. I'll pop it up on the screen now. And I'll do two uh, piles of what worked and what didn't work um, on the Mac computer. But again, it was a very simple affair when they did work. You just plug it in and it installed the drivers for you. And it popped up as an external drive again. So I've divided these into two categories. Everything on the left hand side does not work with Mac OS monetary. But everything on the right hand side does. I tested all those card readers and those cameras. And they all read the memory sticks. And they all worked out just fine. Um, the other option, obviously, as well, is these uh, generic USB card readers that you can get to take just about every card. Uh, sometimes they call them like an 18 one I've got an 18 one there, look. Some say like 20 in one um, But I have found that that particular one there doesn't work with the early purple memory sticks, the full-size ones. Let's just show you that. So these ones here, they're not working with that. It's not seeing them for some reason. Um, don't know why, it must be the file system. Uh, just don't get it, it must be the firmware inside of that. But just not to say that they won't all work, but like I said, if you just stick with the other one that I mentioned before, that Sony one there, stick with that one if you're going to look for one, because that seems to be working with all of them at the moment, for the time being. I didn't test it out on Windows 11, uh, I've just done Windows 10, because so that seems to be the more popular operating system that I get asked about. So yeah, like I said before, Try and uh, use the original camera, basically, if you can get hold of it. Um, and obviously, if you're going to do uh, file transfers, make sure your batteries are fully charged or use the mains adapter, because uh, otherwise things can get corrupted along the way. And of course, the other option is obviously those photo booths that you can go to in chemists. Um, they take just about every card, don't they? Um, you can just take the card in there, put it in the machine and print off what you want. I think you can even burn them onto CDRs, can't you, if they're still available? And um, there's probably an online service as well that would do that. Well, I hope you found that informative. Uh, it's very interesting making these uh, videos about all this old gear. I like uh, putting all my old cameras out. And obviously I've bought all these card readers so you don't have to, because you now know that they don't work. Well, I guess that just about brings me to the end of this video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Until the next video, I'll be seeing you. And if you did enjoy watching this video, you may want to take a look at some of my other videos on similar themes. 
I'm always buying something on eBay, some old piece of technology and trying to repair it. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.